Web hosting from WP Engine comes packed. It comes loaded with all kinds of extra features and commands to help us run our websites more efficiently. And I think you and I should go take a look. The commands and tools that I want to show you here that come with your WP Engine hosting are found within the customer backend area, you know, like the admin dashboard, user portal, customer admin console area, the, the place where you go to manage your site with WP Engine. This is where all the commands are found, the stuff that I'm going to show you in just a few minutes. Now, you're going to find yourself, by the way, in either one of two camps as you're working your way through this video tutorial. Either you've already signed up for WP Engine or you haven't. Those are basically the two groups here. So if you already have signed up with WP Engine, this tutorial is gonna be great for you because it's gonna show you a lot of the commands and tools that you now have at your disposal. And I'll show you how super awesome they are and how to use a lot of them. If you're in the second group of people, you haven't signed up yet, well, again, this tutorial is definitely gonna be useful for you because it's gonna show you a lot of the stuff that you're gonna get if you choose to sign up with WP Engine. And if you think they're a good fit for you, by the way, by the end of this tutorial, check out the show notes down below where I'll leave a link for you to another video tutorial that I put together that walks you through the entire sign-up process with WP Engine. Okay, now, as we dig into this, as I say, it's all gonna happen in the customer portal backend area. We won't have enough time, unfortunately, to go through every single last command and option because they pack in so much. But I'm gonna show you the highlights here. And in particular, pay attention to things like your performance tests. This is an area where you can run uh, tests, performance tests on either your entire site as a whole or a specific area of your site to make sure it's running quickly and efficiently. There's some caching options, which I'm gonna show you as well. There's a handful of utility functions and commands that I gotta show you, which are really handy when you're building and developing out your site. And there's also an area where you can go to manage your backups. So essentially what you can do is you can create these backup points and then you can restore your site to any previous backup point. Super handy. Let's say you have this grandiose idea for a change on your site and you're not sure if it's gonna blow your site up or not. What you can do is you can create a backup point Go and try out your changes, and if you like them, great. If you don't like them, you can just literally dial your site back to a previous point in time via these backup points. So I'm gonna show you what that's all about as well. So I hope that sounds cool. I hope it all sounds cool. I hope you are ready to roll. So let's leap over to the computer and jump into it. Okay, so we're ready to go and take a look. Probably the best place to start off is inside of a new browser window over on the wpengine.com website. So go ahead and navigate there now. And of course, head up to sign in in the top right corner and log in to your account. Okay, once you're in, if you see any sort of a, a pop-up message window, just go ahead and click in the background to get rid of that guy. This main screen that it, it logs you into, of course, is your dashboard tab. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. I don't want to get into too much detail here, but if you want to give a quick scroll through, you can see what we have here, plan usage. We have some install statistics. I'm running a brand new fresh installation, so I don't have anything happening here at all. But if you wanna scroll through a little bit and take a quick look, you certainly can. You may wanna get into some Google Analytics stuff that could be an area of interest for you. However, the really interesting stuff is if we scroll all the way back up towards the top and head to installs. Go ahead and head there now if you would. Now, when you click on installs, that brings you, of course, to this overview screen here. If you want to migrate a WordPress site to WP Engine, you could certainly go ahead and do that. 
If you scroll down a little bit further, we have some install stats here. So we have some technical contact info, the domain, which hasn't resolved yet, at least for this particular installation. Then we have some other important information, the C name, the IP address, and so on and so on. So again, just kind of an overview, nothing too terribly exciting. However, over on the left-hand side, we have a, a long sort of laundry list of items that we can choose from. Let's take a look at a few of these here. First of all, domains. We already saw the domains screen back when we initially pointed a domain name to WP Engine. If you want, you can go and check out that tutorial. That's another tutorial that I've put together. CDN. Do you know what a CDN is? It stands for Content Delivery Network. And the short description is essentially it allows your site to appear as if it's running faster. A more detailed definition or description is you would have multiple copies of your website on multiple web servers throughout the world. And essentially how it would work is if someone's in Australia and they navigate towards your website, they would access the copy of your website that is geographically closest to them, perhaps maybe in Taiwan or something like this, versus someone who navigates to your site who lives in Chicago. And the web server that hosts the nearest copy of your website happens to be located in the same city. It's going to load nice and fast for them. That's the really kind of the down and dirty definition of a CDN. You can see here my account does not have a CDN, but I could certainly go and upgrade if I wanted to. So that's the deal there. We have some redirect rules. You can get into redirection if you want. But I did want to show you this, and I want to spend a moment talking about backup points. So if you want to read the definition here, it says backup points are just like saving your progress in a video game or using Apple's time machine. So essentially what you can do is you can back up your website at various points. Imagine like saving your progress in a video game, just as they're describing here. So what I could do on this screen here, in addition to regular daily backup checkpoints is I could go and back up my site right now if I wanted to. Maybe I have plans to make a major change to my website, or maybe I'm going to be installing some new plugins, this kind of thing, some kind of a major change to my website. I would want to back up my website before I do that. Okay. Notice here, I can also download previous backup points. So maybe I want to download one of these guys. I'm going to go and select them here over on the left-hand side, and then I can download them as a zip file to my computer, or I could restore my site to a particular backup point. This is hugely advantageous. Let's say, for instance, you decide you want to go and update your theme or install some new plugins on your WordPress website. You're not sure how it's going to go. So you go and back up your site and then you wind up blowing things up. Well, thankfully you created a backup so you can simply restore back to that backup point. Very cool stuff. So once again, this is underneath installs and then backup points, okay? Now after backup points, we have some logs. If you find that information handy, you can go and check that out. SFTP users. I showed you this area of the WP Engine admin area when I showed you how to connect up to your WP Engine hosted website via FTP or via SFTP more specifically. You can go and check out that tutorial if you want. I'll leave a link for you as always down in the show notes for you. Okay. Next up, we have SSL. That stands for Secure Socket Layer. This is if you want to secure any information that's being transmitted between the visitor to your website and your web server. So for instance, a credit card transaction. So if you're running any kind of online store or online business, you will definitely want an SSL certificate. Your WP Engine hosting account comes with a free certificate so you can go and add it there over on the right hand side if you're interested okay all right now on to the good stuff underneath ssl we have utilities go ahead and click on utilities there's all kinds of goodies in here that i want to show you first of all top section here password protected what you can do is you can password protect or block traffic to your website by enabling a password to view your site this is handy, as they're saying here, when you're building your site that isn't ready for launch. Now, whether you know it or not, you actually have two different hosting areas with your WP Engine hosting account. You have what they call production, or what I would call the live version of your website. 
And then they have the staging side of your website. Think of this as sort of like a testing ground for changes that you might want to make. So you'll definitely want to lock down the staging area of your website. And in another tutorial, once again, I show you exactly how to do this. And once again, I'll link up to that for you down in the show notes below. Hugely, hugely handy if that makes any grammatical sense. It doesn't at all, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so there you go. There's your password protected area. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. Reset file permissions after uploading files via FTP, which I show you how to do in another tutorial. We recommend that you reset your file permissions. There's your reset button right there just to make sure everything's running well on your site. Okay. Okay. That's that. Below that area, we have multi-site. So if you want to take advantage of WordPress multi-sites. You can certainly do that here if you want. As you can see here, I'm getting this, this warning here as I hover over top, multi-site is not included with my plan, so I'd have to go and upgrade, all right? Okay, beneath that, we have some caching options. Do you know what caching is? Essentially, it allows the web server or even possibly the web browser, depending on how it's configured, to cache data, which allows your website to run faster. You can choose to enable or disable this. It's disabled by default, but you can, of course, go and change that. Now, something I've noticed when I've been working on my WP Engine hosted sites is sometimes I'll make a change to the site, you know, in the WordPress backend. I'll make some kind of change. I'll update my page or my post. I'll navigate to the front end of my WordPress site and refresh, and I won't see the change. What the heck? And this usually happens when I'm making a variety of changes. So sometimes I've had to come into this area. Again, this is inside your utilities here. And I have to clear my page cache. And you can read up on this if you want here. Page cache refers to the complete HTML output that is generated, blah, 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 blah. So you can read through all that. And I come in here and I click clear cache. I go back to the front end of my WordPress website, refresh again, and everything's hunky-dory. OK, so this is a, a handy button to know about once again underneath your utilities. OK, so that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you here inside this screen. There's a few other quick things that I wouldn't mind showing you if you have a few more minutes. I'm going to head back up to the top here. We have dashboard. We have installs. I'm going to go over to intelligence. And when I click on intelligence, we get page performance and content performance. Now, if I go content performance, I actually don't have that set up on this particular account. So I'd have to go and set that up if I wanted to. It's kind of cool. You can connect it up to your Google Analytics. Really, though, what I wanted to show you underneath intelligence was page performance. Go ahead and click on this guy. And what I can do is I can run a test. I can run a performance test on the site as a whole or perhaps on a particular area of my site or a particular page on my site, this kind of thing. Just drop the URL in there. It's giving me my temporary or my default URL there for now. I drop the URL into this field and then way over on the right-hand side, run the test. So every once in a while, I might run a test if I suspect something isn't running properly. Again, a really good thing to know about your WP Engine hosting account. Okay. What else do we have in here? Well, there's users. You can click on users. And if you wanted to, you could go and add a new user to your account. That is perfectly fine. This is your WP Engine account, that is. And speaking of accounts, you can also click on my account. And inside this tab here, you can see what plan you're currently on. You can download receipts. You can change your billing information, all this kind of stuff. OK, so that's pretty straightforward. The highlights really in this WP Engine admin console, if you will, is this intelligence and then page performance, I think, and then all the goodies that we have here underneath installs. So there you go. There's a quick five cent tour, a quick run through of your WP Engine dashboard or admin area. Well, there you go, my friends. There's a look at some of the commands and tools that come with your WP Engine hosting. Again, all accessible, all available from the customer portal user interface backend admin console area. That joke will never get old. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had some fun. What did we see there? The backup points, I think, was one of the major, major highlights. Super handy. That has bailed me out on more occasions than I care to admit with me and my grandiose ideas that I get in my head. Anyway, 
So that was definitely a highlight. The caching options, the performance tests, those utility commands. There was some other stuff I threw in there for you as well. So as I say, I hope this has been informative for you. I hope you had some fun along the way with me as well. And now at this point, if you're in that second group, if you have not yet signed up to WP Engine, if it's looking like it might be a good fit for you, again, check out the link down in the show notes there for you where I walk you through the sign up process. You can check that out. And before we part ways, before we head our separate ways, be sure to check out my free online course for online business owners, self-marketers, people who embroil themselves in all the fun that happens online. You can check that out over at 10tononline.com forward slash free. I will see you next time. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. But I already said that, but I'll see you next time. <laughs> see ya.